Hello students, good morning. This is subject EVS and we are going to continue with the lesson number 9 and this is our second lecture of the same lesson. Where does water come from? Okay, so in this lesson we are going to see this point. How is a river form and how does it flow? Okay, ready? Listen carefully. Rain also falls on high places like mountains. This rainwater flows downhill. Okay. Rain falls on high places like mountains. Okay. And this rainwater flows downhill. Numerous rivulets of water flowing downhill join together to form a river. And the rivulets coming from this mountain come together and join together to form a river. A river flows down mountains and plateaus through valleys and over plains. Understood? So, when there is a formation of river, river flows down mountains and plateaus through valleys and over plains. Understood? Okay. So, next point we are going to see water bodies. What is mean by water bodies? Flowing water and stores of water are examples of water bodies. Understood? What is mean by water body? Flowing water. The water which flows and stores of water. Okay, where, we, where do we store water? Stores of water are examples of water bodies. Springs, streams, rivers, lakes, reservoirs, creeks, seas and oceans are all water bodies. Okay, which are the examples of water bodies? Listen carefully. Springs. Okay, you know what is mean by springs. Then streams. This is stream. Then river. This is river. Lakes. This is lake. Reservoirs. Reservoirs where we store water. Creeks. Okay. This is creek. Seas and oceans. Okay. These all are water bodies. Okay. These all are Water bodies. Understood what is mean by water bodies? Okay, good. Now, let, next concept we are going to see is landforms. Okay, what is landforms? Due to the high and low levels of land at different places, land gets different forms. Understood? You know that when we see the land, somewhere you will find it is at high and it is at low level okay so this difference in the land this difference in different places land gets different forms okay because of high and low level only land gets different form mountains peaks hills hillocks plateaus plains passes and valleys are some of the landforms. Understood? You can see the pictures of these examples. Which are the examples of landforms? There are different landforms like mountains, peaks, hills, hillocks, plateaus, plains, passes, and valleys. Okay, I hope you understood the meaning of these different landforms from the pictures itself. Okay, now children, let's see the next point. Do you know where a spring comes from? What is our next point? Yesterday I told you I will tell you about spring in details. Okay, so let's see about springs. Rainwater sips into the ground. It sips deep into the ground through cracks in the soil and rocks. Correct. 
everyone knows that rain water seeps into the ground and it seeps deep into the ground through cracks in the soil and rocks there are cracks in the soil and rocks and this rain water seeps inside goes inside even under the ground it flows from higher level to lower level and you know you can see water flowing on the ground but do you know the water flows underground inside the ground also from high level to low level this ground water comes out of the ground in some places and as it is flowing from high level to low level inside the soil okay what i'm telling inside the soil inside the ground so sometimes it comes out from that ground in different places and this is nothing but the spring so what is mean by spring the ground water comes out of the ground in some places this is what we call a spring understood what is mean by spring okay so what we have learned today how is a river form water bodies land forms and meaning of spring okay